Hello, my name is Jake with Beverly Hills English. Today we're going to be talking about what to say and do um, when you go to a coffee house. Um, in America, the most famous uh, coffee shops are Starbucks Coffee and the coffee bean and tea leaf, um, and sometimes Pete's Coffee, but mostly Starbucks Coffee and the coffee bean and tea leaf. So for someone new to America, it can be kind of um, scary to go to a coffee shop, but um, I have some sentences that you will hear at the coffee shop and I will say them slowly and quickly so that you will be able to become more familiar with them and more comfortable with them when you go in to get a coffee with um, a loaner with a friend. So the first thing when you walk up to the cashier, um, the cashier will turn to you and say, um, what would you like? What would you like? And then Start again. Okay. What did it look like? What did it look like? It looks good. Who did it look like? Um, two Asian tourists. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ready? Okay. Um, is it too confusing to have me walk back and forth? I think I'll, I won't do that right now. Okay. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. Hello, my name is Jake with Beverly Hills English. Today we're going to be talking about what to do and say um, at a coffee house in America. Uh, the most popular coffee houses in America are Starbucks Coffee and the Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf. Um, they make delicious coffee and there are so many Starbucks and so many Coffee Bean and Tea Leafs in all the cities in America. Um, when you go to a coffee house, um, they're going to say, um, a few things every single time you go in to get a coffee and I'd like to show you what they say and I'd like to say it slowly and then quickly so that you can learn to listen and hear uh, and become more comfortable when you go to get a coffee. Um, the first thing you're going to hear is what would you like? So I come up to the cashier, I find the coffee I want and the person says to me what would you like? What would you like? And I tell the person what I would like. I would like a large coffee. And um, oftentimes they may try to sell you something else, like they want you to try a new drink or um, something that maybe you don't want. So maybe they'll say, would you like to try our new delicious ice blended frappuccino with strawberry? And you didn't ask for that. So you can say, oh, no, thank you. No, thank you. Um, and they may ask if you want non-fat or regular milk um, in your coffee and you can just say um, non-fat please or regular please um, and then they're going to ask what's your name um, after you give them their order they're going to write your name on the cup and when your drink is ready they will say um, they will read it so my name is Jake so after I order a drink um, they say, what is your name? I say, my name is Jake. They write down Jake. They go make the coffee. I wait. And then when the coffee is ready, they say, Jake, Jake, and I go and get my coffee. So, um, and then when it's time to pay, they may say cash or credit. So are you going to be paying with dollar bills or are you going to be playing with a credit card? So if you're going to be paying cash, just say cash. If you're going to be playing with credit, just say credit. Um, okay, and then over here, they may say debit or credit, which means do you want to use your card as a credit card or a debit card? With a credit card, um, you pay your bill at the end of the month. With a debit card, the money comes from your bank account right away. Um, they might also try to say, would you like some pastries? They want, do you want some muffins, some donuts, some bread? You say, no, just my coffee, thank you. No, thank you. Um, and they could say, is that all for you? So after you order your coffee, they say, is that all for you? You say, yes, thank you. Uh, and finally, they may ask, is this for here or to go? Which means, are you going to be drinking your coffee in Starbucks or taking it in your car and going home? So is this for here or to go? So, when you're in the coffee house, they can say these things very quickly, very American style. So, I'm going to read it slowly and then at the uh, speed that you may actually hear. So, 
What would you like? I would like a large coffee. What would you like? Fast. What would you like? What would you like? What would you like? Would you like to try our new frappuccino? Would you like to try our new frappuccino? Would you like to try our new frappuccino? It's very fast. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Non-fat or regular milk? Non-fat or regular milk? Non-fat or regular milk? Cash or credit? Cash or credit? Cash or credit? Debit or credit? Debit or credit? Debit or credit? Would you like some pastries? 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 Is that all for you? Is that all for you? Is that all for you? Is this for here or to go? 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 So, um, it can be pretty scary when you go into a coffee house, but I hope that these um, common sentences that you will hear will help you, and I hope that me reading them quickly will help you to be able to recognize um, what the person is asking. So, thank you very much. I hope you have a good experience at the coffee house in America. And if you have any questions at all, please email me at jake at beverlyhillsenglish.com. Thank you so much.